This is going to be taking apart our LX200 Classic and uh, getting the electronics out of it and getting it ready to ship if you're going to have it repaired by the LX200 Electronics Exchange. We'll start off with the bottom of the panel. And I have some screws already taken out just for uh, speeding up this video. But what I want you to be aware of is that these two screws here, you can see them, they have a larger Allen uh, head um, part for it as opposed to the button head screws. These larger ones, these you don't have to touch. They can stay in. It's just the one here and the one here that are the button head screws. These come out And uh, this is a 1 16th inch Allen wrench. These are all um, American size Allen wrenches. They're not metric. So once we get that one out, then you'll have one here, another one here, another one here, and another one here. So that'll be a total of four plus the two, so six all together, and then this bottom comes off. And uh, usually I just stick the Allen wrench in there to take it out. Then we get to our electronics. And now, this is a heat sink that will stay on, so don't worry about that. Now on the electronics board, First thing we want to do is take off this big ribbon cable and that we can use again the Allen wrench and just pry it off and then it'll come off. And along with this we'll need to undo this connector which is for the um, RA motor. So that unplugs. Be uh, mindful of the orientation of this. and. Uh, it's the red wire goes towards this larger uh, connector. So once we have that off, then uh, some of you that have the newer ones, you'll have this ballast resistor blank. Uh, in this, you can take by taking a screwdriver and prying underneath the stainless steel section and just prying that up. It's just uh, glued on there with uh, two-faced tape and I will be supplying new uh, tape on there so all you'll have to do is just clean that up with some isopropyl alcohol in, uh, before you stick the, um, the ballast resistors back on. But then that will come out. Sometimes these have a tie wrap so you can just cut the tie wrap and then that'll be loose. So now on uh, your main circuit board, you'll have one screw here, another one here, which is already taken out, and then you'll have one up at the top and one over here. So that will be four total. There are two more screw holes, but these um, are always left blank. Uh, there's no screws in them. So don't worry thinking that you got any missing. They, they aren't there. And uh, I'll just go ahead and take off this last one. So once we get this last one off, then this whole bottom comes off. And you can see that's the circuit board. So we'll put this to the side. Now, that leaves us with uh, the motor and the front panel, which I already taken the screws out um, from the front. And what you do with that is uh, slide it down and then pull it out, and it will just come out. So again, there's just four screws in holding this in in the front of the uh, base. Now let me just rotate this up a little bit so you can get a better look at it. 
Okay, here we have our motor, RA motor, and that's held on by two uh, screws. One hidden down here a little bit, and one over here. So we just remove these two screws. And hold it, hold it in place while you take this last one out. And there, that comes out. And what I want you to look at here is there's a spring right here. Uh, you can go ahead and take that out before you send it to me. Or if you leave it in, uh, just put a rubber band around this assembly so that it doesn't pop out and we don't lose it. But I prefer if you take it out. And so there we have uh, the motor out and your base is all done now. Okay, next uh, we're going to move on to the fork, or yeah, the fork arm in the deck motor disassembly. And as you can see, I have the OTA removed out of this. But for the ease of uh, you doing it, you can lay it on the side and uh, take this apart. But I would just open this up so that you can see this connector right here. This is where your deck motor plugs in. Uh, to your fork arm assembly and if you unplug that that's all you got to do sometimes there will be a wire uh, clip in here and if you want to just pry that off the base with a screwdriver again and leave it on the wire and I'll go ahead and put a new piece of uh, two-faced tape on it and it'll come back so uh, you can just stick it back on the base Okay, now we're going to pull the cover off of uh, the deck motor assembly. And this, uh, basically, this is your clutch here. And just screw it all the way off. And then just pull it out. And then again, with your 1 16th Allen wrench, you'll have one screw, two, and... The third one is over on this side, so there's three screws holding this cover on. Uh, these two screws, I already have removed them, so I just got this one holding it on. Okay, we got that off, and now that just pulls off. Now, this one's going to be the same like the RA motor. It just has two screws holding it on. Plus, we don't want to have that spring come out, so be careful with the spring. And uh, I'm just going to go ahead. You'll, you'll see the screws underneath. They're obvious. Okay, with the two screws uh, taken out, now we can go ahead and pull the deck motor out. And now we slide up the wire as we're pulling it out. And there you go. And just kind of take a look at this and see how it was in there. Um, you can see how it folds down. So when you go to replace it, you know how to put it back in. And 
again there's a spring right in there if you can see it I don't know but there's a spring and that's it then all you have to do to pack everything up is uh, just wrap it in aluminum foil and then bubble wrap it or wrap it in newspaper and usually the best uh, way to ship is using the medium uh, square box uh, the flat rate shipping from USPS and that's right around $15 uh, in the US to ship it.